what's going on? It's your boy, Kitty City, bro. And today is going to be a tutorial video. So basically, I'm going to show you all how to how I lace my Jordan 2 3s. Now, if you've seen my last video, uh, I did like my uh, Jordan 2 3 collection. Bro, you ain't seen it? Boom. If you haven't seen it, boom. First link in the description. Bro, go check it out. Uh, I'm very happy. It's only a couple pair, but like, y'all go check it out. But I was like, bro, you know, I did the video on how to lace your spins like lows, bro. And I, I, a lot of people actually liked that video that much. They really felt they're very informative. And I'm glad, you know, that's what I'm here for, to kind of inform you all on how to save your money and all that good stuff. Because I know it's no fun working like crazy to buy a shoe. And you, next thing you know, you see the sneaker going on sale. You're paying resale. All of the above, bro. But yeah. Today, I'm going to show you how to lace up your Jordan 2 3s. Well, the way I lace mine, so it could be different. But uh, first thing first, before we get into the I'm video, give you all tips, like tricks, and all kind of keys and things you can use. All right, so basically, these keychains right here in your uh, local stores, like your Hibbish, your Foot Locker, we already know they're $22 plus tax, so they're like $30 a piece, right? Basically, if you like them, bro, save your money. Hit up your local JD Sports, uh, your local finish line, and you can get them for $10, bro. $10 for both colorways. Maybe if you find a UNC, you got to pay a little different, but if you find them in there, they don't sell. $10 a piece. Fun fact. We got that out the way. Here we go. Jordan 2 3s. Now, normally, bro, I don't know what's going on. Like, I normally would have a whole bunch of laces, you know? Um, but for some reason, bro, I can't find all my laces. And it's crazy. I just ordered laces last week. Or no, week before last. And they got lost in the mail. Like, I don't know what's going on. I ordered a pair of laces for this shoe, um, the UNC's, and which other one was it? The red and white or the black and white? Whatever. I ordered those. But, yeah. So, long story short, <clears throat> y'all going to have to bear with me. I'm going to use the pink laces right here. I'm putting this black shoe. No, I'm not going to keep the pink laces in here. It's just, it will be great for me to be able to show you what I'm doing at the same time. So, yeah, bro, let's go ahead and break it down. First thing first, we're going to take the paper out, and we're just going to go ahead and take our laces completely out. Just rock with me. And then I also will, like, flip the camera down to give you all a better angle uh, later on in the video. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take this out, you know, talk a little bit. Y'all let me know. Are you all copping the Jordan 2 3s? How do y'all feel about the Jordan 2 3s? Hey, is it like a shoe that you feel like it's a Jordan nothing? I uh, is it like a a knockoff J? Y'all let me know some, but all in all, y'all let me know what y'all think. Are the same length? Cause they're not the same length. Then I got another problem. But yeah, here we go. Let's check it out. So I right, sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. In this case, I really did not. So. Should I use the pink laces or should I use the black? <laughs> I think I'm gonna use the black laces. I'm sorry, guys. The pink laces are already a low top shoe. This would be good if you want to tie your sneaker right, up. Guys, so I know this is probably not the best view, but we're gonna actually just try something out right here. Hope y'all bear with me. Please don't leave me any like different type of comments. like. In the comments down below, please don't leave me pause all that stuff, you know. But here we go. Boom. First thing we're gonna do is I would like to make sure my lace is completely flat. A lot of times the lace will be kinked right up. to the bottom two eyelids, and we're gonna just push them through. So basically, what you're doing, you're just lacing your J the way you normally would lace your Jordan. All right, and on these two threes, I will tell you one thing: it does have this uh, elastic in, so your sneaker doesn't necessarily have to be the tightest on your uh, foot. And this is a black sneaker, so it's going to be kind of hard to show it. But you see it right there? So when you get ready to lace it, you got to kind of move your tongue around. It's almost like you're just really fishing for right something. There. Make sure the lace is flat. One side. You go ahead and just pull it to the side. You know, just lacing your shoe. I mean, I know a lot of people on my spizzites, they ask me, uh, bro, I can't do it. Is I can't do it, bro. I'm telling you, if you can't do it, just remember this. When you get to the point that your laces are too long, always loose lace them. Just, just work it from the bottom and loose lace your sneaker. All right, so there we go. And you want to make sure these laces are flat at the bottom. 
Whatever you got to do to make sure they flat. Right there. Boom. Flat. We in there. All right. So, but they uneven. So, we're going to just work our way through. Pull. Work our way through. And these Jordan 2s are very easy to uh, make sure that lace pretty, pretty properly, I would say. Oh, man. They got the kids out. Huh, huh. My neighbors, y'all. Y'all bear with me. All right. So, boom. We got it right here. Now, I never, ever want to have my shoe this tight. You can see that it's pinching the shoe right here. I don't like that. I like to have it kind of loose. All right? So now, since we got it loose like this, I hope you all can see this because I know it's a black on black shoe, black lace with black shoes. I know it's kind of crazy. What we do, some people go over under. Bro, I'm just going to tell you, just start lacing. Start lacing your kicks. Don't worry about all the other stuff. Make sure you keep the laces flat. That's a tip. Always keep your laces flat. Make sure they're not twisted because, you know, it'll look ugly on your feet when your laces don't, are twisted. Don't make it real tight. Don't choke your sneaker. Don't dent your sneaker up. Just keep it loose. Just keep doing what you do. And this one right here, very easy. Very easy shoe. There's nothing difficult about this one. Like the Spizikes, that was kind of difficult because you have all those different shoes in one. So this basically is like your Jordan 2. You can really rock your Jordan 2s, like your Jordan 2 3s if you want to. Now, I know my mom, she makes fun of me all the time. Like, bro, you don't know how to lace your shoes? Because like, I, like, I like to make sure everything is perfect. You see? Like, I know it looks ugly right now. But when you put your foot in, it's going to take all that slack away. So that's nothing to worry about. Now, right here, when you get to the top like this right here, I want you all to check your shoe. So normally when I get by right here, I, I just stretch it like this. And I'll take this paper. If you don't have the paper to your sneaker, just take your socks and stuff it in your shoe. That kind of gives you a better look of how it actually look on your foot. See how it's not scrunched up? You know what I'm saying? Like that. So when you get to this point right here, you want to take your lace and go over and loop it through. And then when you do that, just throw it like this. But you actually want to fish it. You can throw it like this for now. No. Matter of fact, just fish it all the way through. Take this lace. Run this lace underneath there. All right? Do the same thing. Over, under, right there. Boom. All right? Now, I know it looks funny. That's when that, now, it looks funny. The laces are wild, bro. That laces are dragging the ground, right? So you just work your way through. Boom. Boom. You want to loose lace it all the way through. Now, you might put, you might grab your sneaker and you might be like, you know what? Man, my lace is going to come out. It's going to come out. It's going to come out. No, it won't. Trust me. When you put your foot in your shoe and you get to wearing your shoe, this lace is going to lock down right here. It's going to lock it down. I know it sounds crazy, but the tongue actually helps you out. See what I'm saying? Are you see it? Yeah, the move right now, but when you put your foot in it, the lace is going the tongue is gonna help lock your laces down so they won't come out. And as you walking, if you feel like your lace about to come out, hey, just run it through, just run it through the next eyelid right here. But it's nothing to it. Just continue to like keep your shoes laced, loose lace. If you want to rock it this way, you can actually tie it up if you want to. It's no problem. But for me, this is how I'm rocking them. I feel like it's the best way for me. I like how it looks. I like I like the comfortability that it offers me. And yeah, that's basically what I do. Now I wanted to put the pink lace in, but I couldn't because it's gonna be too long. And these already barely, like it's already gonna probably hit the ground if you don't loose lace them. So yeah, that's what basically what I do. How I actually how I lace my tools. A lot of people when I wear my tools and I actually wear them loose lace like this, people ask me like, bro. I, how you do it? Because normally I will change the laces so you have no choice but to see the way I'm rocking them. And a lot of people, they really just, they want to buy the two threes, but they don't buy them. But when they see them on feet, bro, they go stupid. They go hard, all of the above. And yeah, man, just make sure you keep it loosey, what they call loosey-goosey. But yeah, that's how you lace your Jordan two threes right here, bro. Thumbnail. Hey, y'all comment down below. Let me know, are you all rocking with it or not? Because you can see these right here. They look all crazy. I haven't worn, I haven't worn them yet. Now, if I have, I have another pair in the back that I actually rock like this, like some twos. As you wear them, bro, that lace will lock down. I'm telling you. And, like, it won't flop out. Like, the laces might come up like this, but they're not going to come undone. 
You know, just make sure you got them tight. You know, it's all it is, bro. Nothing to it but to do it. But this is it, bro. That's how I rock my two threes, bro. Or my twos. You know, any of my lows, I really rock like this. But I had to make this video for y'all because I wanted y'all to actually let me know what y'all thought about it, though. But I'm rocking with the two threes. They're not, they're not, man, I, I, can't, I can't go back and forth. Hey, check the description. First link in the description for my last video. I hope you all like it. Hey, but it's just your boy, Key to City, bro. Help me, help you, help me. And I always remember, be a leader, not a follower. Hey, and we out.